Hello. Any idea what I'm riding on? Well, it's not a horse, nor an elephant, or a camel. And I'm not doing an imitation of Danny Thomas' famous bus ride pantomime, either. Matter of fact, I'm not doing anything at all. I'm just sitting here, relaxing. Ah, that's wonderful. <laughs> Ooh. Gee, excuse me. Hank, you better tell him where we are. Success Story, a live, on-the-spot telecast, brought to you each week from somewhere in Southern California as a public service by Richfield, makers of Rich Lube 1030 motor oil, Richfield boron gasoline, and a complete line of years-ahead petroleum products. The name Stoffer has long been synonymous with beauty and figure control for housewife and movie star alike. Here at the Stoffer Executive Offices and plant at 1919 Vineburn Avenue in Los Angeles, Stoffer Systems rhythmic motorized couches are manufactured for the 250 Stoffer System salons throughout the world. The response to the salon treatments has been so outstanding during the past 20 years that Stoffer in 1954 introduced a portable motorized couch for use in the home. This unit called the Posture Rest has skyrocketed in popularity to the point where sales for 1957 are expected to exceed $20 million. More than 5 million women so far have enjoyed the benefits of greater relaxation because of the Stoffer system. And there will be even more to come now that Stoffer has expanded production facilities in its new ultra-modern five-acre plant. Standing by to start us on our tour of Stoffer's facilities is your success story reporter, Ken Peters. Well, you know, I'm sure that thousands of you women have been inside a Stoffer salon, but I doubt whether many of you gentlemen have, because uh, they're strictly for ladies only. However, Success Story has a first tonight. We're going to be the first ones to take you men folks inside a Stoffer salon. So, fellas, come on. Come on, it's perfectly all right. We got permission to come in. Don't have to be afraid to. Uh, this is a little bit different from a regular Stoffer salon setup. In a regular Stoffer salon, each one of these tables would be inside a a uh, private room behind those louvered doors, but they've been nice enough to set them out for us uh, here in the waiting room so we can uh, watch them in action. I want you to meet the lady in charge here. This is Maxine Seidler, who's the training director for the whole Stoffer system. Uh, Maxine, assure the bashful gentleman that it's perfectly all right for them to be here. Well, it's quite all right. The, well, the gentlemen are more than welcome tonight. All right, fine. Now, Maxine, I wonder if you'd tell us what the basic principle of the Stoffer system is. Yes, it's uh, postural reducing through uh, effortless exercise. Mm -hmm. And I wonder if you could demonstrate on the table just how Stoffer accomplishes that. I'd them. like to. Would you like to All see right. them? All right. Surely. This is the basic position of our six tables. The action, as you can see, is centered right in this area while exercising the muscles of the hips and thighs. Mm -hmm. And this table over here has, as you can see, a two-way action, which uh, uh, exercises both sides of the body. This elevates the rib cage, straightens the shoulders, limbs of the waist, and abdomen. I can see how that would be very effective. However, this one doesn't seem to have very much uh, action to it, Maxine. Well, this one is a little misleading. Let me show you. All right. Ah, oh, I see what you mean. This gives an overall stimulation and circulation. It makes you tingle all over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, of course, Maxine, the one that intrigues me is this one down here. Uh, what is it doing? Oh, yes, this is a wonderful table. This is our... Um, leg, thigh, and ankle table. And as you know, that's, uh, we have a lot of women that have a lot of weight problems in this area. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see, the action is completely different from anything, any of the other tables it I've shown you. It certainly is that. Now, Maxine, I believe you said there were actually six stalker tables. We're only seeing four here. That is true. I've just uh -huh. shown you four of the six. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, this is certainly fine for the ladies. This one seems to be enjoying it immensely. But of course, uh, men folks have weight-reducing problems, too. Don't you care at all about us? Oh, we never forget the men. We, for several years, have had the home plan, uh, Stoffer home plan for the men and for the family as well. Oh, yes, and by the way, this is what I was writing on at the start of the program, in case you're interested in seeing. Uh, actually, the best way to get the full effect of this is to lie down on it in this position. Oh, this is wonderful. Maxine, uh, what's happening to me now? The same thing that was happening to the young lady on the... Uh, first salon table I showed you. This is the basic position in the home table. In the salon, you simply change from table to table 
fires with the home unit, you change position. Okay, thanks very much, Maxine. What we want to do tonight is show you how they manufacture uh, these portable home units. Uh, I had what I thought was a great idea, and that is to have them bring in a television set and let me just lie here and describe the whole show, but uh, our director didn't see it that way. So, uh, Hank, uh, if you'll carry on for a little while now, I'll do my best to get up from here and uh, be out on the factory floor in time to take it over when you uh, turn it back to me. It's not too common to find a luxury and durability combined in the same item. But here in the Stoffer cutting room is found an exception that proves the rule. A woman interested in her own appearance is pretty generally interested in the appearance of her home and its furnishings. So the fabric covering of the Stoffer portable home unit is carefully chosen for its beauty as well as its practicality. Heavy vinyl plastic cloth is used to achieve a graceful blend of attractiveness and durability. While the cloth is flexible, it can never stretch under constant use an important factor when body weight and motion are present simultaneously. Once the cover patterns are cut on the cloth table, they travel through a succession of sewing processes which convert them into finished coverings. Another function of this cutting department is the sewing of special 12-pound sandbags, an important auxiliary of both the Stoffer home and salon units. And now let's rejoin Ken Peters, who's ready to start building a Stoffer home unit from the ground up. This portable unit just weighs about 32 pounds, and it's designed in such a way that it can uh, fold up and be stored underneath a bed or in a closet. So, of course, two very important factors are lightness and strength. And these are two characteristics of aluminum, as you know. So uh, all of these stacks of aluminum tubing are destined to become the framework of the Stauffer Posture Rest Home Unit. Of course, when it comes to bending aluminum tubing, you've got quite a problem uh, to keep from uh, crimping the material. You'd be interested, I think, in seeing how it's achieved on these uh, special machines here. Uh, the thing is, you can't apply any flat pressure to the tubing. It has to be a rolling uh, pressure. Actually, I think on this next machine down here, you'll get a, a much better idea of how it accomplishes. This is the same piece of tubing making a second bend in it. And uh, if we move in here and watch this again, I think you'll see the way those uh, wheels actually roll up and apply no flat pressure whatever on the unit. And then down here at the third unit, this same piece receives its uh, final bend. You see, that's all there is to it. And I have this one. And you see, you end up with something that looks uh, sort of like a fancy pair of handlebars. This will actually be one of the two feet. Uh, this part will connect onto the uh, center unit, and then uh, the head and the feet will clamp onto the other end. All that has to be done with this now is to receive a few holes so that it can be attached to the uh, center unit. And that's done by placing it in this jig here and uh, drilling it. Of course, this whole department is given over to different machines, uh, all concerned with shaping and drilling the aluminum uh, tubing. Now, uh, I can't help but be reminded as I tour through here of uh, some of our tours through airplane factories uh, because of the great attention to uh, strength and to weight. I think Hank Sims agrees with that comparison. Here in the Stopper machine shop, skilled technicians make and finish many important parts for the salon and home units. The tolerances within which they work rival those in aircraft plants. In many instances, they're even smaller and more exacting. Tolerances of one ten thousandth of an inch are not uncommon in the Stopper machine shop. The carefully conceived movements of the reducing machine as it oscillates under the resistance and weight of a relaxed human body makes these close tolerances essential if the machine is to give the ultimate in trouble-free surface. Because of attention to important details like these, the name Stoffer has become as synonymous with rugged quality as it has with beauty and figure control. 
Stoffer units last, as do their effects on the Stoffer customer. And now let's rejoin Ken Peters. I told you that strength and lightness were two of the most important characteristics of the uh, unit. I think I should have included a third one, and that is comfort, because they make a great thing of building comfort into it. And this is where most of that comfort comes from. This is a rubberized horsehair pad, and Stoffer has selected this uh, uh, particular pad because of its resiliency and because of the fact that it's so highly weather resistant. They take great pains to make the whole unit as highly resistant to weather as uh, possible. And this is the point in which the uh, base is uh, glued on to the rubberized pad. I frankly want to move away from here because the ether in that glue is getting me just a little bit uh, woozy. So let's move down the line here and uh, see how different parts of the unit uh, are assembled. Uh, right here you see the, uh, the parts that will become the head and the foot pieces of the uh, couch. The webbing has already been put on, and here the, uh, the bottom rail is being installed into it. And then just moving down the line here, we'll find that uh, down here we'll see where the base is attached uh, to the webbing. And they discover that the best way to do that is with a specially constructed stapler. You'll see he'll just uh, staple those into position. And then down here, a couple of fellows I don't think have to worry about exercising. They get all the exercise they need right on the job. Uh, watch Jack and Louie here. What they're doing is putting that padding inside of the cover. And uh, sort of a tug of war proposition. Uh, watch how they go at it. <laughs> I think these fellows have a future for themselves wrestling on television, don't you? And from there, it moves on to several minor operations until this unit is all set. And we'll join the uh, final assembly line just a little bit later. Of course. The heart and the real works of the software system is the center unit. And uh, we're ready to see how that comes into being now. Comfort starts with this specially shaped slab of the finest air foam rubber, as relaxing a seat cushion as you could hope for away from your easy chair. These slabs are glued to plywood boards, which form the seat foundation for the center section oscillating platform. Once the seat board and rubber have been bonded together, they're enclosed in a heavy vinyl plastic cover made in the cutting room we saw earlier. What happens then? Well, let's rejoin Ken Peters and find out. The whole secret of the soft, uh, software system is getting that seat board to move in the right directions and at the, the proper speed, and that's done by an oscillating unit. Now, if you happen to have a curious, mechanically-minded youngster in the house, I suggest you have him watch carefully, because otherwise, when you get your unit, he's liable to not be able to resist tearing the whole thing apart to see what makes it work. You watch, fella, and we'll tell you right now how it works. These are the three parts that make up the oscillating unit. That's the rocker arm. This is the link assembly. And this is the rocker arm support. And if we'll just uh, watch over here, we can see how uh, Ronnie is performing the first operation in which he adjusts that uh, nut in such a way you get the proper freedom of action. And then down here, uh, Ray is installing the link assembly. And then he'll also take that uh, rocker arm and uh, attach it into position. And the uh, final adjustment of that rocker arm is done by Frank down here. Frank, before you put that, yeah, will you rotate that for us so we can be happy to. I think you can see the eccentric action of that. Uh, it's rather a rocking motion. Uh, we'll see it uh, a little more clearly a little bit later on. Thanks, Frank. Of course, now you need power to uh, motivate the uh, oscillating unit. And uh, that power is supplied in the form of this very neat little uh, General Electric 112 horsepower motor, uh, specially designed for uh, quiet, efficient operation. Incidentally, the same motor, they tell me, that powers the uh, giant uh, Palomar telescope. Here you can watch Pat installing the uh, motor onto one of the uh, main supports of the main casting. Uh, rather interesting uh, bolt that he uses here. It's the bolt that he installs with this particular gun, which squeezes the uh, nut into place, and then the gun will uh, cut off the end of the bolt. We'll just stay here long enough to uh, watch Pat run through that operation for us. Uh, in one of our former success stories, uh, we saw this type of bolt uh, being made. Locks it very securely in place. All right, and then to move down the, uh, down the aisle here, 
Here's our oscillating unit being installed into the uh, main support. And then over here on this side, you can see two of the, uh, the pulley arrangements that are being installed. This is the regular drive wheel, and then this is an idler wheel. You see the uh, speed of the motor is uh, 1,750 RPM, and that has to be reduced. So this idler wheel actually reduces that down to 250 RPM for the uh, oscillating unit. And of course, the uh, belts are put into place also. Well, look at here. We've got a doctor in the house. Uh, excuse me, doctor, may I uh, bother you a moment? How's the patient doing? Oh, just fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is the patient down here, by the way. And uh, this is uh, one of the preliminary inspections. You want to tell us what you're listening for with that uh, stethoscope, doctor? Well, we're listening for knocks in the pulleys, uh -huh. and in the idler, in the motor, and in the link, and in the yoke, and in the paddle. Uh -huh. Well, how about this patient? Does he get a clean bill of health? Yeah, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> okay, thank you, Bill. Did a double take the first time I saw Bill in his stethoscope. Then moving rapidly down here, here are our handlebars again, which now have the little rubber feet installed, and they're ready to join this final assembly line. This is actually the next step where you see the hammered aluminum housing is being wrapped around the oscillating unit. And then down here, the wiring and the relay system and the switches is all uh, properly installed and put in working order. Down here, the end caps are put on, so now we've got our oscillating unit uh, completely enclosed. And about all we have to do now is to install the uh, seat board that uh, you and Hank saw being made a little while ago. That completes the unit, except, of course, for a very careful uh, final inspection, which Walt Jensen is doing in there. Uh, making sure that it operates perfectly, and also cleaning it up, getting all ready for uh, uh, packing. Here's a unit which is evidently uh, past inspection down here. I wonder if it's connected up. Oh, yeah. Well, I can't resist that. <laughs> here we are, relaxing again. Well, that pretty well tells the story of how the posturesque Stauffer home unit is made, uh, except for one rather important uh, operation that Hank Sims wants to show you right now. You are viewing Success Story, a live on-the-spot telecast, brought to you each week by Richfield. Tonight we are visiting the home of the world-famed Stoffer System at 1919 Vineburn Avenue in Los Angeles. Stoffer is the creator and manufacturer of rhythmic motorized couches. An integral unit in the Stoffer system is, strangely enough, a small corrugated 12-pound sandbag. No, you aren't expected to use it as you would a medicine ball or dumbbell. It has a completely unique purpose, holding a person a little more securely to the couch while the oscillating unit goes to work. Now let's rejoin Ken Peters, who's in the test department with Mr. Lou Dosselineau, national sales manager of the Stoffer system. I'm kind of trying to get to the bottom of this thing. Lou told me that this uh, particular unit has been operating 24 hours a day for a year, and that this resistance spring simulates the weight of a 250-pound person. Uh, what's the idea of all this, Lou? Well, you know, we distribute the stuff for a home reducing plan nationwide, Ken, and mm -hmm. uh, we not only have to put it through all these uh, tremendous uh, durability tests uh, comparable to aircraft uh, inspection, but we also have to have it tested for climatic conditions, mm -hmm. too. You say nationwide, I understand actually that some of the units we've seen uh, manufactured here tonight might end up in places like Timbuktu or such. We can do better than that. Uh -huh. we, some of these units you've seen manufactured tonight might even end up in Australia or Southwest Africa, possibly Thailand. In fact, I wish we had the time to tell you about the fabulous Indian princess that visited this country about six or eight months ago. You do, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, in any event, uh, she would got to our plant because she'd been interested in the Stauffer system. And she came in here just dripping with jewels. She could have barely bought half the country. Uh -huh. uh, in any event, when she left us, she had purchased the equivalent of enough equipment to furnish a complete Stauffer system salon, plus a few dozen Stauffer home units for rooms in the palace, you know. And I'm willing to bet you right now that those palace gals are probably, well, I'd say that they're the most beautiful girls in the kingdom today. Well, if any of you folks are planning a trip to India, get in touch with Lou here. He'll give you the address of that Indian princess, and you can have your stopper system treatments all the time you're over there. Lou, I understand that really this last year you've had a, an unprecedented increase in sales of the uh, portable home unit. 
Well, that's true. Uh, Ken, up until about a year ago, we were primarily known as a Western and Southwestern country, not a uh, company not having chosen to go into the Middle West or East to distribute. But in the last 12 months, we've set up now uh, 12 of the finest and most reputable distributors in the United States to date to complete our coverage of the country of some 27 states. And uh, in, fa in fact, our business has increased, Ken, uh, about, uh, well, in excess of 1,000% over the last 18 months. Of course, it's always good to us to find a, a Southern California product that is being spread out all over the world and helping to make our Southern California uh, area even more famous than it is. Thanks very much, Lou. Thank you, Ken. It's still running, isn't it? Uh, they have here at Stoffers a medical research division which is entirely divorced from the Stoffer home plan and the Stoffer system. I'd like to have you meet the gentleman who's in charge of the medical research uh, division. This is Mr. Jay Weiner. How are you, Jay? Hello, Ken. How are you? Uh, can you give us some idea of what you're doing in this field of research? Yes, we've been studying the influence of various types of motion on what we call hypokinetics or aging processes and hypokinetics in individuals. Well, now, I'm sorry. You sort of lost me there with that hypokinetics thing there. What's that? Probably you'd want to call it disinclinitis. I don't you know, it's the fellow that's disinclined to do anything or to take any exercise or activity. Uh -huh. Well, hypokinetics is actually the lack of motion or activity or exercise in the individual, and we're studying the various types of motion study and its influence on these people. Uh -huh. Well, what sort of uh, things have you found in research? Well, frankly, Ken, we've been very quietly doing research in hospitals and clinics all over the country for some time. Most of the stuff that we've found at the present time is classified. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you that so far we've made some remarkable discoveries in heart disease and in diabetes. Now, of course, these things will be medical techniques that will be prescribed by a physician. Mm -hmm. Well, Jay, we'll expect to uh, hear some great results of your research then, uh, not too distant future. Well, I look forward to the day, Ken, that I think and I feel sure that this type of induced motion will be as great in its particular field as the introduction of the antibiotics were when they first started. Well, we'll certainly, I'm sure all of us, wait to hear the results of what you've been doing here, Jay. Thanks an awful lot. Now I think it's time to get back to the effortless exercising of the Stoffer system. In a separate section of the Stoffer plant, equipment for the famous Stoffer salons is fabricated and assembled for distribution to the more than 250 salon locations throughout the world. Although similar in principle to the home unit, the posture rest, these salon models are much more complicated and specialized. Six basic models are manufactured here. Each has a specific role to play in reducing and figure control because each works on a particular part of the body. This area coverage makes it possible under the Stoffer system to spot reduce with a minimum of effort and without exhausting exercise or starvation diets. Billions of dollars are spent by women each year for cosmetics. Yet a new figure can do more for a woman than all the beauty aids in the world. Now let's get back to Ken Peters. I'm sure a lot of you ladies and a good many of you men whose wives have regained their figures are looking forward to meeting the gentleman responsible for all this. So here he is. This is Mr. Barney Stauffer. How are you, sir? Fine, thanks, Ken. Uh, Mr. Stauffer, uh, you are the pioneer of this whole system of effortless exercise. I think it'd be very interesting to uh, get some idea how it all started. Well, we have uh, probably the most uh, unusual method of starting a business. We started out to be a therapeutic approach and we changed it into the beauty or the reducing field because it gave the average individual a very nice figure. Mm -hmm. So that was the, really the start of the thing. Uh, Mr. Stauffer, I hope you don't sell that therapeutic side short because uh, I don't know whether you realize just how much time I've spent on one of your portable units the last couple of days. It's considerable. And uh, fortunately, at the moment, I don't have to worry about reducing, but. Uh, I must say, I find it very relaxing. I should think it'd be worth having for the relaxing angle alone. Well, yes, we do. We specialize in relaxing as far as the unit is concerned. However, we think there's probably four basic principles to this system. One of them is the uh, weight problem. The other is the relaxation. The other is the good circulation. And, of course, the beauty field in general is our specialty. Mm -hmm. You know, I heard someplace, uh, somebody told me that 49% of all of the American women are worried about being overweight, and that at least 49% of the men should be worried about it. Uh, how, how do you account for the modern tendency toward overweight? Well, we think uh, 
television is probably one of the worst offenders of the obese problem. And that's a very bad thing to say, I'm sure, to you. Yes. And particularly uh, since there are so many of the Richfield viewers out there today. But that has probably uh, come about because the majority of the people today are finding it hard to get time to exercise with the busy push-button age that we live in. Mm -hmm. I, I think I ought to try to clear up what Mr. Stopper is saying here. Uh, he isn't telling you to throw your television sets away. Uh, what he wants you to do is to continue to look at television, but do it while reclining on a Stopper posture rest home unit. Isn't that That's right. right. Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> I'm sure you won't be surprised to discover that Mr. Stoffer has got a portable unit uh, installed right here in his own office. And I noticed that he's got it placed in a position there so a person mm -hmm. could lie on it and look up at that beautiful mural on the opposite wall. Looks to me like that might be Lake Tahoe, isn't it? That is Lake Tahoe, yes. And I suppose a person could lie on the uh, posture rest there and look up at that mural and get all the hiking and uh, swimming and fishing that he could up at Lake Tahoe. Huh? Well, I wouldn't say uh, that you could take the place of Lake Tahoe because, you know, uh, being there in that wonderful mountain air is uh, one thing. However, if you have the ability, you know, the time to get up there, the use of the home plan in your own home is the next best thing. Mm -hmm. Any of you business friends of Mr. Stoffers, if you try to reach him by phone and are told that he's in business conference, a very important conference, uh, you know what he's doing now. <laughs> Mr. Stauffer, really, uh, we just thoroughly enjoyed our trip here tonight. I think it's been very informative to every one of us, and there's no doubt about it. Uh, you've uh, made an, a very important contribution to our modern American scene. Well, thank you. We certainly enjoyed having you. Mr. Stauffer told me earlier that uh, he felt that this industry was in very much the same position that the television industry was about 15 years ago, and he feels that eventually every American home will have uh, one of these home units. When that time comes, I guess we'll be about the most relaxed nation in the whole world. From a single salon in 1937 to a worldwide multi-million dollar business today, this is the Stoffer System success story. But the Stoffer success story does not stop there with a cold record of expansion and dollar volume. The Stoffer story overlaps into the lives of five million women who have found new beauty through the Stoffer System. Significantly, many of today's Stoffer Salon owners and posture rest representatives were once Stoffer patrons, women who saw for themselves the undeniable results of the Stoffer system. Twenty years ago, the system was a new idea and one that seemed almost too revolutionary for wide acceptance. But overriding those odds was Bernard Stoffer's belief in his system and his determination to prove its worth. Those powerful factors established a new industry, created new jobs, and brought happiness to millions in the finest tradition of American free enterprise. <laughs> Success Story, an on-the-spot report, is brought to you by Richfield, makers of Rich Lube 1030 motor oil, Richfield boron gasoline, and a complete line of years-ahead petroleum products. Next week, at the same time, we'll bring you another live origination of Success Story with Ken Peters. Your camera reporters were Chuck LaForce, Len Uslaner, and Dick Jacobson. Floor managers John Richardson, Lloyd Wright, and Jim Casey. Audio Frank Gaffron, video Harry McClary. Next week, we'll visit Los Angeles Harbor in celebration of World Trade Week. Hank Sim speaking, wishing you a good night from Richfield.